Good evening, hello there. It's uh, Chris here from NNC Produce. And today we're gonna to be making a barbecue sauce, uh, which we're gonna use for the barbecue ribs that we'll do a video too. So just to, just to uh, get ahead of the game, it's best to get your prep ready so it makes it easier for everything else. Okay, so we'll go through the ingredients quickly and then we'll start making the sauce straight away. Okay, so we've got some smoked, smoked paprika and we've got some uh, salt, got some Worcester sauce here, we've got some black pepper, brown sugar, ketchup, and we've got some apple cider vinegar, and molasses. Okay, so all the ingredients, we're gonna put them in the pan, mix them all together, uh, just put it on basically not a very high heat but a low heat and obviously after 15 minutes give it a taste if it's good to taste if you need to add some more sugar you can do if you need to add some more um, uh, apple cider vinegar you can do but yeah it's pretty much uh, it's pretty much easy thing to do so uh, yeah okay
Perfect. Okay, so we'll mix that in. So again, that gives it a bit of body. You know, Good stuff. Whoa, look at that. That's gonna give you that nice, nice taste and color. Also, use it all up. It's got good stuff. Yeah, most of my ingredients are getting from local stuff. Now, okay, so this has been cooking for, well, simmering for 15 minutes. Okay, so now as you can see on the time here, we've got 25 seconds of counting down. So we'll just stop it right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is turn, turn the heat off. Sorry. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is cool it. Okay, so I'm gonna cool it in a really cool area of the kitchen, okay, or put in a shed or whatever. I mean, because I haven't got like a, uh, a blast chiller or an ice bath, so I'm just gonna pull it down. What I'll do is these little ketchup bottles that I see I use, these little ketchup bottles, I'll put them in there. So it'll be quite easy for us to use over and over again, as you know, sugar, so we don't really got a date. And yeah, so I'll put it in there and I'll use it when we are making the, uh, barbecue ribs. So, I'll give it another taste. Just to, uh, I mean, look at, the back, look at the back of the spoon, look at that. Look at that. Look at the back of the spoon. It's quite thick, and don't forget, once it cools down, it's gonna get, it's gonna get a bit thicker as well. So, I'll give it a little taste. Give it a little taste. Wow, it's rich, it's sweet, it's barbecue -y. It's, it's got that bit of heat from the paprika. You know, the apple cider vinegar comes through, Worcester sauce comes through, Malaris comes through. It just tastes really amazing. Okay, so please look out for my next video where I'm gonna show you how to make the uh, barbecue rub for the barbecue ribs. Okay, thank you. Here's the uh, cold barbecue sauce. What we're gonna do is we're gonna decant it basically. So look how perfect that is. I mean, look at that. Wow, amazing. A bit messy here, but it doesn't matter. So, what we're gonna do.